Apostolic Christian Assembly, Perubu Ministries, today welcomes you for our morning devotional program. God bless you as you prayerfully listen to this brief devotion. Mom, greetings to you this morning in the ever faithful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Everybody has some type of faith. Some people believe in people, they believe their jobs, but we need to remember one day that the Lord let us down. But God this morning wants us to have faith in Him. For the one who has called each one of us is a faithful God. To understand faith, we must first get past certain misconceptions about faith. No man was present to witness the creation. It must be accepted by faith. God created something out of nothing. The things that we see are not made of things which do appear. The book of Genesis explains the events of this creation. And that explanation should be accepted through faith. For our devotion this morning, let's read Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Now what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith goes beyond what we can perceive with our physical senses, so it doesn't work on the rules of science. Faith allows us to believe that the invisible God can do what is physically impossible. So God this morning wants us to have faith in Him. Faith is very essential for a true child of God. We can read one phrase in the Bible. Whenever the Lord healed a person during His earthly ministry, He made one statement, Thy faith had made thee whole. Now we can read in the Bible about great faith, about small faith. But we as God's people need to have just simple faith in God. Faith is the affirmative response to God's will and His word. Man possesses faith when he takes God at his word. We don't need to see something to believe it. Faith is the acceptance of something simply because God has said it. True faith is simple obedience to and believing God's word in spite of the circumstance or the consequences. Faith is described in a twofold way. The substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. God is faithful to provide everything that we need in life with no shadow of doubt. Because the Bible says the one who has called us is a faithful God. Every day we face challenges in life. And at these moments our faith and trust in God is tested. We become anxious about life. But we need to remember that fear and anxiety can rob us of our faith in God. The future may seem so uncertain right now. And worrying keeps occupying too much room in your mind. But we can trust in God unmindful of the situation or circumstance. Don't be discouraged this morning. But rather... Put your faith and trust in God. We see in the life of Abraham, the classic example of a man who had faith initially in God. But his faith wavered when he faced a difficult moment in his life. We read in the book of Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, the Lord told Abraham to leave his father's house, to go to a place that the Lord would tell him, and he also gave him wonderful promises that he would make him a great nation. In faith and obedience, Abraham left his father's house, knowing not where he was going, he just trusted in God. But a situation arose in verse 10. The Bible says there was a famine in the land and he became fearful. Faith gave way to fear. Abraham had kept his eyes on the Lord throughout his journey, but now his survival looks doubtful. But God viewed this as an opportunity for Abraham to trust him. Instead of looking around him, Abraham should have remembered God's promises and relied on him to keep his word. Many times the Lord is leading us through challenging situations, God expects us to look unto Him and believe Him. Our faith should never give way to fear, but rather we got to trust in God. Abraham reasoned that the only way to survive was to go down to Egypt, where there was food. He probably considered this trip to Egypt as only temporary, thinking he'd come back to Canaan when conditions improve. Even a temporary journey from God can have disastrous results. When we forget that God is both our provider and protector, and we take matters into our own hands, we end up in a whole lot of trouble. Abraham should deal with his fear by staying in Canaan and seeking God's protection and provision. The Lord would have been faithful to take care of him and fulfill all the promises that he had promised him. We often make the same mistake that Abraham had made. We look around the situation, forget that God is our provider and protector, and substitute what he said in his word with our own plan and reasoning. True obedience is doing what God says, when he says, and now he says it. Any alteration is a disobedience. When we are tempted to take matters into our own hands, we must remember that God has put us in these circumstances 
so that we will learn to totally depend upon Him and trust in His promises. When we forget God's unconditional promises, we begin to fear man. The Lord had given Abraham wonderful promises, but in the midst of all these things, this man Abraham became afraid. And he did something contrary to God's will. In the same way, when we forget what God has promised in His word and begin to take things into our own hands, fear grips our hearts. And we end up where we should never be, doing something we should not do, feeling what we should not feel, and paying a price that we don't have to pay. When we stop trusting God and fear these circumstances, it's then when we get into a whole lot of trouble. But this morning, God just wants us to believe Him. We see later in the life of Isaac, the son of Abraham, he wanted to commit the same mistake, but the Lord intervened in his life. In the book of Genesis chapter 26, the Bible says there was a famine in the land, but the Lord told him not to go down to Egypt, but to be in the land that the Lord will show him off. And Isaac obeyed the word of the Lord, and the Lord blessed him in that land a hundredfold. We should never doubt God's promises, but rather God this morning wants us to just take him at his word and believe him. You may be facing a lot of difficult times in life, wondering, how can I get out of the situation? Never take matters into your own hand. Just trust in God. Believe in God. The Lord God who has called you will lead you all the way through. The Lord God will be your provider, protector, and preserver. Never doubt the word of God. But trust in God. Don't look at a situation. Look to the Lord your God. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. When you look unto the Lord God, God will never put you to shame. But rather you can experience God doing wonderful things in and through your life. May God bless you and may God be with you. Amen.